Hey guys, welcome back to Secrets of Atria. I want to make a quick video for NVIDIA users to try to help you guys optimize your graphics card settings so when you play Aeon you're getting the most out of your graphics card. You get that best FPS you can get, you get the best looking Aeon performance there is, and for some of you this might even fix the, the horrible but well-known glitch of when you move your mouse while you're moving in game it drops your FPS so let's just dive right in first thing you need to do is be on your desktop and right click and go to your NVIDIA control panel and let that load up once this is loaded up on the left hand side under 3D settings we're gonna start at the very top here and go to adjust image settings with preview under this we are gonna click this third bottom option and we are going to make sure it, that this is slid over to performance not quality once that's done make sure you hit apply and then we can go ahead and just move on to the next one down which is manage 3d settings now depending on your version of nvidia geforce that you have installed there are going to be different options over here that you can go through I recommend going through all of them one by one depending on the version you are using and see what you can play with and what you can turn on and off. Uh, basically I have most things turned off as you can see on my screen and if there is an option to turn it to a maximum performance or a high performance setting I made sure to do so. Uh, doing that I found really made my game a lot more crisper and it made it run a lot smoother so once again just kind of go through one by one of all of these click on them when you click on them on the right hand side you'll see a lot of them have a drop down option and just change everything to high performance not high quality but you want the best performance that your PC can give you and your graphics card can give you for Aeon the next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump under the display tab and go to change resolution. Now if you have multiple monitors you're going to have to go through and do this for each and every monitor. So first thing we're going to do is make sure we have one of our monitors selected, preferably the one that you game on. And here under resolution you're going to want to scroll all the way down to PC and make sure you're running your monitor as PC settings if there's any default settings on your monitor. Once you're doing that, make sure you select the proper resolution for your monitor, which should be the largest resolution that you can select. The next thing you want to check is your refresh rate. Make sure that it is the highest number this drop box lets you go to. As you can see, my monitor here only allows me to go up to 75 Hz, so I have that selected. Once you have that, make sure you go to the bottom right and hit apply and then click yes for the changes of course and then again if you have multiple monitors you're going to have to go through and do that for each monitor so I just clicked on my next monitor and as I can see this one gives me different options of different refresh rates of course I'm going to choose the highest one and the largest resolution and hit apply once that's done, we can go to the Just Desktop Color Settings. In this menu, we want to go through, and once again, for each monitor, we're going to have to do this, but we're going to select Use NVIDIA Settings for both monitors, and click Apply once we do. A little bonus tip for those that like to play other games as well, this Digital Vibrance bar that you can slide to make it darker or brighter you can play with this to make things look brighter in the game and more crisp. I like to keep mine around 80%. That's just personal preference to make things in game really pop out and look amazing. Again, this is just personal preference and this playing with this setting here will not affect your performance of your PC. So play with that as much as you want and find the setting that is right for you. So once you're done playing around with that and found what you feel like is the right thing for you, we can go on the left hand side again, go to video, adjust video color settings. And here, again, if you have multiple monitors, you have to do it for each one, 
we're going to go through one by one and make sure that this is selected with NVIDIA settings. And under here, we just want to use this advanced tab. We're just going to ignore these other ones and just go to advanced and make sure that the range is set to full. Once it's set to full, if you changed it from limited to full, there will be a apply button. So let's change it to full, hit apply, go ahead and wait the second for it to load, and then go ahead and do the same for your second monitor if you need to. Once that's done, you can go ahead and close out of the control panel. You may want to restart your computer, but then you can start up Aeon, and hopefully that helps fix your, some of your FPS issues. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this helped your gameplay at all, or if it didn't. If you're having any specific issues in game still with FPS or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I might have more advanced fixes that you can attempt or do that could help you. So once again, if this video helped you, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to this new channel, and I'll see you guys in game.